Now, normally you're not going to hit the first guy in the you know of the game with the first pitch. Now, if I factor in how hot he's been, what he's done leading off games, all right, I'm going to make you uncomfortable at the plate. I'm going to move you off the plate a little bit. But to hit him, I don't know if it's accidental or not. And maybe if it was accidental, then act like it's accidental because he didn't help his case. If I'm the commissioner and I look at this, he's not contrite at all as if to say, hey, it got away from me. And look, if you have a problem with Acuna with how he celebrates, when you know, the bat flips, all right, I get it. But to hit him that way and hit him there, if you want to hit somebody, you hit him in the backside or you hit him in the back. But you could throw a pitch and you could throw it 85 miles an hour. The message is sent, hey, we don't like the way you've been celebrating or I want you uncomfortable up there. I'm going to give you something to think about. I understand that. Part of baseball, don't like the unwritten rules of baseball. But this is one of those situations where He's been playing well, and you hit him. I I want you to listen to his manager because I thought his manager, this was what was really surprising about this. Brian Snitker is the uh, Braves manager. He has a hard time putting this into words about how he feels what happened to his star player. Yeah, just um, it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, it's beyond, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've had three hours to calm down, and all of a sudden I'm not real good right now. We saw Brian Snicker, who sticks up for his players and a team that looked like family, like a pack of wolves going out there to support each other. Well, you know, it, 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 um, he's, he's my kid. I'm going to protect him. I'll be honest with you. That's the first. I, I'm speaking. I, I'm not sure I've ever been that. I've never felt like that in a baseball uniform. And um, I was just uh, my emotion. And you know that kid didn't deserve that. That's strong stuff. It really is. I mean, part of this is baseball. See it all the time. But uh, he had a hard. T- he was moved to tears. What's the poll question we're going with, McLovin? Okay, we had an interesting one that was tweeted to us. I don't have the name right here, but there's reports that uh, the pitcher could get five to ten games. Uh, Some people are calling for more 20 to 30 games. This person asked uh, how long – What? sorry, what's his name? uh, Jose Urania? Urania. How long should Urania be suspended? 20 games the rest of the season or until Acuna comes back? I like that idea. What about you say you can't pitch again until the guy you hit comes back? Yeah, but you can't do it that way. What if he doesn't come back in two years? What if he never plays again? I mean, obviously, that's worst-case scenario here. But well, then the pitcher really did something wrong, if that's the case, for two years. But he could, it could have been accidental. I mean, So you guys are okay with five to ten games, yeah. which is likely? Yeah. I, I which would, is one start, maybe? I would have two starts here. But if you do ten games, you know, two starts. Yeah, Paulie. You, you have to factor in the accidental part of this, no matter what his injury was and the reaction. He's getting punished for the reaction and the coverage. I mean, pitchers pitch inside and people get hurt. People get hit. I mean, I don't think he should be suspended more than a game because there's still a chance it was completely accidental. No matter how it worked out. And once it, You know, he got a little defensive when he saw 20 guys from the Braves walking out there. But, I don't know, it's just it's not always a criminal act. Yes, he but do you put any stock in the idea that like it was the fastest pitch he like one of the fastest pitches he could throw, and then he's never opened a game by throwing a pitch that fast? Those kinds of things. I mean, does that mean anything to you? I didn't factor that in. This is a guy who does throw inside, so I have to factor that in as well. Did it get away from him? And if you're going to hit him, do you want to hit him with the first pitch in the first inning? Um, I know that he's had these leadoff home runs. I don't know if this had to do with. We don't like the way you celebrate when you hit home runs. Is, is that what it came down to? I mean, what else is it? He's been on a hot streak. I, I feel like you could do what you need to do as a pitcher. You don't have to do what he did. I can, I can brush you off the plate, but I can do it in a professional manner. I mean, that wasn't even close. Yeah, Fritzy. 
You could also just get him out, and then if you want to taunt him a little bit or point at him as he's walking back to the dugout, if you feel a need to get back to him in some way, get him out and embarrass him, strike him out. And then if you want to do your own little dance on the mound, which many pitchers have done over the years, here's your opportunity. It's just it you know, gets back to these unwritten rules in baseball. That's silly. You know, Keith Hernandez, the Mets broadcaster, he said, hey, you know what? You got to hit him. <laughs> he's, he's on a hot streak. You got to hit him. I don't understand that logic. Imagine if... Um, Steph Curry's going off. Now, I'm, I'm going to, like, knock him to the ground, right? Like, I'm, I'm going to intentionally foul I'm going to try to hurt him? If we, if we start to do this in other, other uh, uh, sports here, I'm going to, hey, you're, you're uh, completed 10 in a row. I'm, I'm going to hit you, hit you hard. You know, I'm going to do something above and beyond the call of duty here. Yeah, McLevin. Aren't defensive players... I mean, throughout the history of the NFL, always trying to do that, to knock out the quarterback? That's but, what every defensive coach of all time has preached. Yeah, but aren't you doing that no matter if he's good or not? Yeah. You're trying to knock the quarterback right, out. Right, yeah, you don't even care. You're just going after him with all you got. Yeah, you know, Matt Carpenter got hit last night. You know, is it an accident or, you know, just the fact that these guys have been on a hot streak and you're going to pitch him inside? You, and I understand what Al Leiter is saying. You want to make the batter uncomfortable. I don't want to let you feel like you can lean over the plate. Watch Bryce Harper when he's at the plate. Bryce Harper is on the plate. I don't know how many times he's been hit, but you know you you can take back a little bit of the in, inside part of that plate, but I think you can do it in a far more professional way than you saw last night. Yeah, Paul. Remember they used to let uh, the hitters wear body armor, stuff on their wrist, stuff yeah. on their elbow? Why did they get rid of that? Just because of the, it gives them free license to crowd the plate, overcrowd the plate? Well, you had, you know, Bonds would go up there. Elbow guard. Yeah, he looked like, uh, you know, he was out of Game of Thrones or something. And then you're going, so it's an advantage that you're going to lean, even if I get hit, um, you know, I'm not going to get hurt. And part of that is the fear of getting hurt, you know, or breaking a bone or something, and you would stand off the plate a little bit. And these guys crowd the plate. Yeah, see. Well, then you see Acuna gets hit last night, and after, like, the scuffle happens or whatever, he has to take off all of his armor, and he leaves his, like, <laughs> shin guards or whatever they are on the mound. You're like, what are, what are these, everything of this leg armor that he's got on, too? Yes, yes, Fritzy. Right, Rick Sutcliffe just sent us a note. He's on a plane getting ready to leave Philadelphia, heading to San Diego. Tell Dan I would have never hit him with a pitch. I didn't hit people. I knew I can get out. <laughs> Smack talk. Old school, Rick Sutcliffe. It wouldn't hurt if Sutcliffe hit me. Wow, that's a retort. Yeah, it would not. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.